Hi, it's Jill with Cryptflix. Tonight's film is going to be um, about the descendants. I think there's nine centerpieces, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yep, nine centerpieces of the descendants. Um, what I'm using for base on them is the six by six inch box cover. Uh, I didn't order the boxes, I just ordered the lids so that I could make the bases covered with glitter paper. I used the black ones because I really like the way it accents with the colors on, on the Descendants. Normally I use white. And my husband cut out a four, it's a four by one piece of pine wood and he drills a hole in the middle. I'm going to put a peg in there. I am going to fill this up with glue. Then I stick it inside the lid. Now, um, I've gotten lids that you line in boxes that collapse and uh, numerous sizes. I found them on U line, which with different sizes, there's bigger ones for like bigger centerpieces, and um, there's some smaller ones as well. What I really like about these is they add more to the piece when they're all done, they're more striking. So, I'm going to stick the first one in there. And, and no, I'm not screwing it in. I'm twisting it because the peg doesn't just slide in. I'm going to get the last one set up here, and then we're going to go back. They're all glittered and ready. However, um, I'm going to be adding some other accents to as many of them as I can to really make them loaded. I guess I would call it loaded. Alrighty. Let's see, I'm just going to put three together here to show you. I remember I did a video um, when I first started using the box lids and I was trying to match the hole up before I put the wood on. And after I was done filming, I all of a sudden the light bulbs went off and I realized how, how to do it. But I'd hung up and somebody had sent me a message <laughs> on YouTube about doing this and making it easier. Caught it after the fact, but you know what? A lot of times, if you guys were to see how I did this when I first began eight years ago, um, making centerpieces and trying to get them to stand, oh, it was, it was sad. It was very sad. <laughs> it was really hard how I did them. Okay, now I'm going to take, I don't know their names and I'm not going to try. Um, Amy has put the, embell uh, the embossed, the, the, what is it called? Oh my gosh, I always forget this one glossy accents in their eyes on all of them and then they're glittered. What I'm going to do is try and pick up something on this image that I can add a bunch of different kinds of uh, elements. And on this one I'm going to add this is a beaded trim. These come from my trims like this all of them come from um, Hobby Lobby. And he's got a kind of a double wrapped uh, buckle here. So I'm going to use this on his as his belt. And, oh, I see, see, he's got some little rings here. I know what I'm going to do. Just came up with another idea here. Okay, and then I'm going to string it down here. And there's rings hanging on the bottom of this belt or off, off this other piece. So, I am going to put some metal rings on it. All right, let me do this side first. These things are so cute. I do believe Amy and her children and husband are all going to go, I think they said they're going to go as the descendants. I think that's what she said. They're really, really cute. I've never seen this. Well, half the stuff I've done, I've never seen. I haven't watched that kind of TV since my kids were babies. They're little. Don't watch it with my grandkids. We don't watch TV much. Too busy, too busy uh, making me chase after them, getting them out of things. Four more days before school starts for me. And guys, it sounds horrible, but I feel just like when my kids were little. 
You know, I was so excited when the school ended because I didn't have to get up so early in the morning and that hassle of getting them ready, getting them out of bed, and getting them fed and out the door in time. In the summer, um, it seems like they've almost forgotten how to sleep in, and they get up earlier than ever, and I don't know, it's just, it's wacky. Now guys, some of the things I'm going to put on here are not necessarily on his belt. I just, um, I don't think it really ma matters if it's not a perfect match. So I'm just going to add just whatever I want. And I got these little, they're, they almost look like coins. I absolutely love them and I don't remember where I got them. But I think they're really cute. I meant to put them on something the other day and I forgot. And that order already shipped out. Okay, and I, oh, there's some little tiny ones, and I also have these. This has got some little rings on it, so I'm going to grab my tweezers. Actually, I'm going to grab my whole bag here and see what I need in here. Okay. <laughs> my big bag of goodies. Okay, let's see. I'm going to grab some of these little rings. That These are actually from jewelry making, and they're the, the, little rings that you use to, for your hooks. He's got these on his belt. So I am going to put a little tiny dab of hot glue and I'm going to put this, these little rings on here where they are on his belt. You know on my, um, we picked these up oh, to do these signs I have on my shop. I can't even explain it, but they're to hang on these little wooden wooden hooks or wooden pieces to, to ah, I'm not going to get into it. Anyway, that's what I bought these things for and haven't used them since. But when I get back into certain things that I'm doing, I can use all these extra embellishments if I can remember how much I have. Guys, if you ever get an old piece of furn uh, furniture, uh, jewelry, for instance, that that you just don't wear anymore, you don't like, but it has beads or anything on it, a lot of these boxes full of stuff that I have came from old pieces of costume jewelry. It makes great accents for centerpieces. Now, see, that came out perfect. I want one more ring on the other end to kind of even it up. Just like these are magnetic. So sticking to my, they're not easy to pick up. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, and sometimes you get. Um, I know my daughter Amy, mostly. I don't they, they both do get a little um, light on the glue because they don't want it to show, but. It isn't the end of the world if a little bit of it does show. But what I'm going to do on the top of each one of these where the glue is, I am going to put a dab of black glitter. His pants are black. And that will cover my little dab of glue. And I think, too, what I'm going to do on this one, not that she missed it, but... I like it really covered. I'm going to put, now that's yellow, not gold. There's a couple pieces down here that I want to add a little more glitter to make them pop out. Let me grab one that's not working. Mm -hmm. Oh, that makes me nuts. Okay, here's another one. Here we go. Let's see how this one works. My stickles, there's some little hooks that are hanging off of him. I'm just going to lightly glitter. Oh, there's another one. This guy must make noise when he walks. He is, he, these are, guys are so stinking cute. I've never seen this, but they're just, I love the outfits uh, that all of them had on. I love that really funky stuff. But there are things that I really don't want to embarrass my family and, and wear because if I wore everything that I wanted to um, my kids would would not be very proud 
they'd be laughing at me, making fun, thinking I lost my loops. Speaking of which, my mother, they changed her medication. I started on something different a week ago, and I am seeing improvement. So, as long as she continues to make improvement, I will continue to be extremely happy. Talked to the doctors this morning, and, and they said wait like three to four weeks to really see, and it's only been a week. So if I see the notice in a week, I'm sure I'm going to see it in a in um, uh, three, a couple more weeks, I, I expect I will see more. I should not have put that glitter on, or, or the um, the yeah, the glitter on them until I had them done. Ooh, there's some cool hooks in here too. Ooh, finding all sorts of things that I can use this for. But let's try. I'm gonna grab a little smaller. There is a magnet on there, on something here. Because as I pick it out, it's sticking to my tweezers. I wonder if these are magnetic and I never knew it. Wow. That would not, not surprise me, but yet surprise me. I wouldn't notice that. Yeah. Oh, catching it on me. All righty, we're going to. Tell you with that that uh, glossy that she put in his eyes. His eyes are green. Looks like a cat's. So cute. And I said swimming weather was over on my last video, and it was like 90 degrees today, and uh, but rainy, so there was no outdoor activities going on. And I sure wish the last week before the kids start school that they'd have some one last week of fun outside. And it's supposed to rain for the next 10 days. I know you guys aren't watching for a weather report. As I start said in my last video, I'm going to make a point to remind everyone if you are in here because you or you're viewing because you think you're going to learn something or if you're viewing because you like the chatter and just to see the stuff that I do, you're at the right place. Otherwise, if you want me to teach you, you're at the wrong place. Move on to the next video and don't waste your time. Especially if your plan is to tell me how to do my do my thing. Until you go open your shop and do your own thing. I have forgotten what I did on the other side here. This stuff isn't real noticeable when you're when I'm on the camera when I try and show you. However, in person, it really shows, along with the strings of glue. Whoops. And his hooks. I have all these keychains, my collection of Disney keychains on my purse. And I went out with my mother on Saturday, took her out shopping, and she kept hearing the noise of all my metal Disney keychains. And she kept saying, what is all that noise? And I couldn't think what she was talking about. It dawned on me she was talking about my purse or all the keychains. But I had to tell her, sorry, sorry. Okay, there we go. He's done. This one, see, this is an outfit I would have if I was younger. I would have that. I totally, totally love that stuff. <clears throat> when I was younger, um, I always liked to push the attire to the limits. Loved the clothes. This would absolutely, oh my gosh. I'd be looking where I could buy it <clears throat> or make it. I used to make my own clothes when I was growing up. I think I mentioned this in a different film. Everybody go out to back to school clothing, and I would get a bag full of fabric. I made all my own clothes. Uh, my mother was really big into that. She didn't realize I wasn't. So I wanted to go out and do shopping. But I didn't. I got material. And it was called material then. I think now it's... I wouldn't know what I was talking about. It was uh, fabric and patterns to make my own clothes. I started doing that when I was 
probably the 15 years old. Did what you had to do, right? My folks were divorced, and we all know the backlash of that. Now, this is too long, so I am going to cut it. Now, if she was in high school, they would say three inches above your knee. Back in my day, talking in the 60s, you couldn't wear skirts to school that were three inches above, or shorter than three inches um, above your knee, and you couldn't wear shorts. There was a lot of things you couldn't wear. We had dress codes. Man, I re remember rolling my skirt up once I got to school. I'd roll it up around my waist to get it as short as I could. That was a wild thing in that sense. Huh. Okay, got her done. Nope, got to put the gold on there. The gold piece. What I'm going to do on that is I've got some gold of the same fringe. This is from, again, Hobby Lobby. And I love it. And I'm really having fun being able to use it now. This purse was, was trimmed in a gold fringe. So, I'm going to put the gold on top. Actually, though, I'm going to cut it first. It comes in a V. So, I'm going to cut this first, the shape I want it. There we go. Then, I'm going to put it around here. And it's going to go pretty much right on top of the blue. Because it actually goes on her purse. There we go, and alrighty now, what do I want to put? I want to put something else on there right in the center. Oops, that's what I did. On the other side, I put the belt out of that trim. Now, where did that trim go? I did the belt. What one on earth did I do with it? Did I drop it? Does anybody see it? Here it is. Found it. I'm going to do her belt, too, out of the same trim. This is my last little strip. I'm going to have to get to Hobby Lobby do a, a haul. There we go. We are going to be starting to work on uh, wood things of a more permanent nature for holidays. We did some last, last year. And now that my husband's got his garage man cave done, and we'll be able to do the lots of the work that we need to make our pieces, that'll be coming soon. A few ideas that we'll, we'll be making to, to add to our shop that are going to be awesome for Christmas. I don't think we're going to add them to our shop. I think what I'm going to do is open a new shop, just start one brand new. Um, I think it's going to be on... Um, Amazon. We haven't made that move yet, but it's coming. I'm going to add a bead to this. No, I'm going to add it right here. Um, first. You know, because they all have a bunch of stuff on. Okay, and I'm going to add that one. And there we got her done. Oh. And I will take some close-up pictures of these as I... Oh, I see a trim I forgot I had hanging on my clip-it-up here. There are three clip-it-ups, but I can't fit them on my tables here, so I can only put one. I kind of have them sorted by what they do. And come on. Come on. Work with me here. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that was cute. Guys, I really do love these outfits. They're so cute. Okay, did I get, let me get this one done. A lot of these are already on their stands. What I'm going to do for her is I am going to put some of this. She's got a, a little edge hanging out of her skirt that's kind of, it looks like it's probably tulle, but I don't have tulle. So what I'm going to use is sequins and put it at the bottom of her skirt. And then I'm just going to kind of 
cut it at an angle so it looks like it's there we go there we have that at the bottom of her skirt let me do the other side okay again you gotta curve it so it looks like it's kind of gathered and glue your finger down to it and Some of this stuff isn't the easiest to cut. These are actually sequins. And I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to restart this because I'm afraid this is going over my... I just restarted it, and I think we're good now. Um, what else do I want to put on her? Let me see what kind of goodies I have. That one's way too big. And those... I don't know. I think. Oh, here's some. Um, gems. Here. Let me try that. If I can get them open. Again, all of these trims are from Hobby Lobby. And you really got to watch it. But Hobby Lobby, every week, they have a sale on different, um, different things like one week it might be scrapbooking paper or books or whatever and I don't like the black with it that's not, not happening um, but pretty much this is where I get all the trims because when they have them in sale on sale I, I'm pretty much empty the shelves I love their accents now these are uh, they look like pearls scalloped these are recollections which is um, Michael's. You know, every time I forget what I was going to say, it gets worse when I let, when I don't let things go. Um, the other day I was kind of off on a tangent because I was, you know, uh, not offended, but like just I just can't believe pe sometimes people just don't think and. Then I start thinking about it because I start thinking that the comments that were made and then I do worse. I, I let it get to me and I need to not do that. Believe it or not, guys, I mean, I don't, I don't lose sleep over it, but I am a very sensitive person. I am very, and I, you know, a lot of times I have trouble dealing with things with folks because I just can't be mean. Um, I, I talk a lot, but I... I can't be mean to somebody. I just can't. It's not in me. I probably want some time. But I think that's gone by the wayside. I put a little little pearls down here. Again, the things that I'm adding aren't necessarily on her. I'm I'm taking on the initiative and doing what I want. I'm gonna put a gem on her neck right there. That one's blue and I just grabbed red. So that blue one. And these are from Recollection also. And at Michael's up by the checkout, they have um, dollar bins. And these gems, I just, I mean, they're they are already sticky. I, I really like them. I buy them a lot. And I like them when they're individually. The glue is... You can, it, some of them that they carry are kind of like a rope and you have to cut them. This one, however, is not. And I like that they're all separately glued. That's cute. So, we'll do the other side. And, guys, I probably won't be able to film all of this because there's nine of them. And you probably are thinking, ooh, that's a little much for one night, huh? A little too much gel for a night, I guess. And the, on her glasses, um, there's Accents Essential, the glossy, on the whole lens. So in person, yeah, her glasses look like they're glass. Okay, she's done. Also, when I covered the boxes, I concentrated on picking a color, kind of a dominant, prominent color that I really wanted to stick out is what I used for their box, um, for the lid. So none of them are the same. Oh, I just thought I 
I just about kicked my table over. Okay, now we're going to do her. What am I going to do to her, guys? Let me see. What am I going to do to her? Let's do some of this silver trim rib ribbon. And I have to keep reminding myself that I'm not following her pattern because I cannot do that. I'm just going to have to add, to, ooh, this might be good. Sidetracked. Sidetracked. I think I'm going to put that at the bottom of her skirt here. this ribbon right underneath where her shirt started again I cut it on a little bit of an angle and I'm going to go all the way around instead of cutting it off okay this is kind of wrinkled the ribbon that for some reason so I have to kind of straighten it as I go but it's working. There, I'm liking that. That works for me. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Tomorrow my um, husband and my daughter are going to take all the grandkids, the big ones, to this place. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a rock and jump or something. They do all sorts of activities. And I'm going to take Blake to see my mother. She is. She has no idea. She's going to be so excited. So excited. So, I hope that goes well. I hope she's not in one of her, her frames of mind when I go. I'm going to put a hot pink gem on there. And she's got a... I'm a mess here, guys. A disaster. Um, off the top of that, I'm not sure if I like the non-finished look. So, I'm going to take care of that. Come on. Go in there. There we go. And I think one was not into bag. So, maybe this. I've got these other little gems. Of these are from... These are from Hobby Lobby. They're not the Hobby Lobby brand, but they're little metal pieces that, um, not brads, they're, they're just like any other gems that I use that are just sticky. And I'm just going to grab some of these and put them on her skirt, or the top of her shirt, or I don't know what it is. Whatever it is that she's got on, I'm going to trim it out with some of these. And I'm just picking whichever ones. So, and I hope you didn't have to put that many on. But, she's covered. And, love it. I think these things are just so cute. Really cute. There we go. Now, I'm going to call it quits with her. She is on a blue base. So I wanted to pull off the blue in her. So, she is going to go to the Dunwrap. <gasps> love them. Love them. Oh, this one. Love the colors on her. This purple. And of course, I did her base in purple. So, what am I going to use on her? I found something and I said, oh, that's going to be perfect for her. I can't remember what it was. Oh, I got to look over here. I got a pile of stuff sitting here. I put everything out so I wouldn't forget and be scatterbrained here, but that didn't work too well for me, guys. Oh, well. I try, oh, this is it, this is it. This is a green, and it's almost like a leather suede with these metal beads on it. That's what I'm gonna use on her, for her belt. She's got this green going here. Actually, where I'm putting it is brown, but I think we all get it. Come here, what is this? 
Oh, I almost pushed, pushed those things in there. I don't want to do that. Okay. There we go. I run out of space. can't believe how much space it takes for you to do these things, these hobbies. So, put a couple of that out, down. I like the green with the purple. There we go. And one more strip of this. I wish I had purple. That would be really cute, but I don't. So, and maybe I'll go that route. Yep, I'm going to go that route. I don't want them so close together, so I'm going to run this down at the bottom of her belt or her wrap, whatever it is that she has on. Also, adorable. Love these outfits. They're so cute. Okay. So, let's do this side. I'm speechless, guys. Um... Amy and, and her husband, Doug, uh, Amy's my daughter for anybody new watching here, um, got married last fall and had bought a house, a uh, log home kind of out in the country, and lots and lots of mosquitoes. And so she had somebody come to spray for the mosquitoes because the kids get eaten up alive, but because it's wooded with pine trees in the back, and it's just an area that can't control it. Somebody said, get a bat house. That's what you need to get, is get a bat house. And so she's been talking about doing that. Well, now on the door that goes into her living room, um, there's a bat living there. So she sends a message out to everybody to meet her bat. So when I went over the today, she showed me. It's right by the door going in to the back of the house. I said, man, I would really be nervous about the kids. Um, well, stand with the door open and have that bat come in. But I went out and looked at it and it was waking up. Oh, the face on them are so cute. So cute. But they're hoping that it's a hungry bat. I don't know if I'd like a bat. I don't know if I'd like that. I mean, I'd be afraid of that thing getting in my house because it's right there at the door. I'm putting a little gold cord. This is actually coming up. I'm nah, tore it up there. I'm not going to glue the whole thing down. I'm going to just kind of drape it. This is actually from Christmas. Um, it from Hobby Lobby. They have all of these Christmas trim, trims, and every year I go and buy them after Christmas, and everything's like 90% off. They just want to get rid of it, so it costs pennies for a lot of these these. They're not expensive to begin with. It, at Christmas time, none of that de decorations or these kind of ribbons and stuff. I think a normal price on them is, you know, like buck nine, oh, two ninety nine. Then they have it in half price all the time, so it's a dollar fifty. And these these rolls are really big. There we go. I got that with the cord on it, and I think one thing more I'm going to put on her. I just have to decide what. Let me see what I have here. Oh, let me up here winding that forever. Let me see what I got in here in my bead collection. Okay, those are wood, buttons. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It's like a cameo. A little bigger than I'd like. But, ooh, here's a purple thing. Ha, ha, ha. You dig and you shall receive. I oh. am back. Um, I wasn't going to film anymore on this this particular theme. However, I decided I was going to film some more to finish it up to show you some things I did. I'm working on this guy now. He is all glittered and ready to go. I have these metal little... These are jewel... Jewels are... Um, they, they always go on clearance at Michael's in the surgery... Or <laughs> In the, in the um, jewelry jewelry making department, and they work great for embellishments. If you remember, you have them. 
which it wasn't referring to me at all. Whoops. Missed it. Okay. There I got one on his buckle. And then these are actually Brad's. I, these also clearance at, at Michael's. They're the little Brad that opens up in the back. I would have put these on first and done hole piercing, but I didn't think of it right away to put on him on his elbow or his arm here. Um, so I cut the little Brad part off with my wire cutters that I use for my stick, the sticks. Because that way I could just glue them on and use them flat. Um, so the next day I started this video last night and I was uh, downloading the recordings that I've done this past few days and <laughs> there's quite a few. So I gotta go through and figure out how to cut them down and get them uploaded. Now we're on countdown. I believe today is Tuesday, I think. I'm pretty sure. Um, only a few more days. And I'm pretty excited, guys. Doesn't it sound horrible? But um, I am excited to... There's all sorts of things I want to make that we, that we want to do in our shop. And I haven't had the time. And neither has my daughter. Because she, her kids are out of school. All five of them. So, we have big plans coming up real soon. Okay, ah, I'm getting strings. I must have this set too low or too high or something. Too low. How did it get turned down? There we go. I don't get the strings if it's hotter. Um, if it's, it's just like anything that if you brought sugar to boil with water, eventually it would start to form strings. You know what? That's not right. Yeah, as it cooled down, it forms strings. I don't know. I don't know. Absolute uh, waste of breath right there on that. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm doing. I've already had her on, but when I was opening something here, I saw this glitter tape. This is washi tape. And it's actually a Halloween packet from Michael's. And I do believe, it's Martha Stewart brand, I believe I got it on clearance last year after Halloween. But again, you hit these places right after any holiday and everything is dirt cheap. And this was... I mean, there's things in there that for scrapbooking, for crafting, for anything. It's awesome, guys. I'm telling you, you've got to take the time to hit there. And I have the hardest time peeling this tape back. There's my little poker thing. Oop, I got it. I think I got it. I got it. It was rustling. I am going to put this on her arms. And maybe a little bit on her film. <laughs> that was silly. Okay. I want to cut it kind of on a little tiny bit of a curve. Because her arm is not perfectly straight. It's on a little bit of a curve. So I'm going to put some there. And, <coughs> oh boy. Some down here going to visit my mother this afternoon and I'm taking Blakey with me, or Blake, my little two-year-old grandson that my mother absolutely adores. And um, when I talked to her this morning, I told her I was going to be coming up today. And I said, I got a surprise for you. And she said, I hope it's little. And I know what she was referring to. And I said, he is. So she's all excited. He's going to go up and visit her. And we'll probably go visiting all her friends there with, you know, you know what a little baby does to you, a little two-year-old. They're just special. So, I think it would be real special to take her, him around to meet the residents there. And my mom thinks that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. 
Guys, I am loving these pieces and doing them is so fun. And just go for it. Okay. I'm doing this after the glitter, so it's kind of... Ooh! I heard my tummy growling. I don't have to be growling. I just ate a half a pack of rice cakes. My husband and my daughter went to take the kids out. And my husband is took my car. Took my new car. He asked me, can I take your car? Because it was parked behind his. And I very... With a good attitude, said, go ahead and take your my car. Just teasing because <clears throat> when he got his Corvette, I said, the next car that we get is mine. It's going to be whatever I want. And so that's what I did. And he calls me about five minutes after he leaves. And he goes, did you know that this car reads your text message? If you text somebody and they text you back, it reads it. It tells you what the text says. I did not know that. <clears throat> the only thing I have to be really careful with when I'm in my car, it's hooked, hooked up to my phone. They're, they're paired up. And if I have my mother in the car and I was to talk to somebody, I, that maybe I didn't want anybody, like my mother or sometimes my hubby, um, don't want them in, <laughs> listening to my conversation. So I said, did you, does that work? You, he really, you see mine too? And he said, no, he linked his up to it. And I didn't want to say much more. I, mean, I wouldn't like, I don't want everybody listening to my conversation. But sometimes I may be venting and I don't want anybody listening to that. I like to vent. Okay, on this guy, what I did is I put some of that, that uh, like I did the purple one the looks like flapper girl trim i put a little piece of black and a little piece of white i was going to do it in fake fur but i can't find fur in white i don't have any I got every color but white so i put black black fake fur on his shoulder here where he had where he asked for on his jacket or fuzz but i can't find any white so i'm just doing whatever i can and I'm going to add, um, maybe, if I can find when this opens, some washi tape here, too, onto his, let me see, it's wider than I thought, so, you know what, I don't think I'm going to add that to this, because this is silver on there, and that has got gold stripes in it. I want them to match, guys. I do want their outfits to match. So, anyway, I got the, the trim on that. And then, let's see, him. And I picked out the orange glitter for his box because his, his outfit. Man, I'm loving these outfits, guys. I just love them. <clears throat> My husband. Some will find this funny and some will think, I mean, it's... Uh, silly, but my husband is is bald on the top of his head, and over the years, while well, he was working, you know, his hair's always been real short because he's, he's bald. So he decided this summer that, I think this is the midlife or something, now because I like it, I think it's cute, he decided to let his hair grow and hasn't cut it in months, and it is long. And he wears a baseball cap all the time. He collects them. They're hanging on the back of our closet. And there's hundreds. Literally, no, not hundreds. I won't say that many. But he, he collects cap, baseball caps. Uh, particularly U.S. Uh, anything with a ma uh, flag on it. He's got it. And so when he puts his baseball cap on, his hair flips up, curls everywhere. And But when he takes it off, it's hilarious because his hair is sticking up everywhere. So now he's got he's got a hairdo that, that only can pull off when he's got a cap on. So it's very limited. 
but my kids are laughing because they're like, why would you do something like that now? And both of us agree because you can. Don't care. You don't care. Whoops. There we go. Now I'm putting sequins on around his his top of his arm, armpit, I guess it's called. And cutting these are not it's not that easy. There we go. I put a piece of leather, like a leather strap, across his chest and some sequins up there. And I hope that you can see everything that I'm doing as I get myself covered. Someone said once that, oh, I was such a neat worker. Everything was always so neat and clean when I worked. And it isn't. It isn't. And I just, I, I uh, have a thing about making sure that, that I'm trying not to have everything I own on the table and cut up in a huge mess that you can't see what I'm working on. And I'm teaching you absolutely nothing here. Just showing you how I do some things. <clears throat> I have to keep reminding myself that I'm not, uh, not doing anything special. I want more on him. He is cute too. These are all really cute people. They're really cute. I'm not, I just, whoa, the ripped up pants, the ripped up jeans, the legging or, or what are they called, jeggings, leggings, all those things, um, particularly the torn jeans, I love them, I love the torn, I don't know, I am really weird, really am, I just don't grow up, guys, I do have a couple pair of the torn up jeans. One I can't wear anymore because it's a little too torn. But I do love those. Okay. Oh, he's got one of those leather bands like all around his, his wrist. Love his jeans. I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this. I don't know what this was, a shoelace or something? Not real sure. And I know that my film cut off on the last one of them. And if it cuts out and stops because I run out of time or because the card is full, um, it was probably from the card being full, yes, full yesterday. Actually, I didn't empty it, so it may not be recording anything here. I better check. Oh, it is. I just had to look because after I thought about it, uh, if it didn't have room, wouldn't have them now either because I didn't change it. Okay. There we go. And so I just added just a couple pieces. Um, again, it's not easy that easy to see on the camera, but in person it's adorable. Okay, and one more. One and done. Okay, now I'm going to do this guy. And I don't know what I'm going to use. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. And let me see on him. What I think I'm going to do is put a couple of my gold this on him. Do I want this one or got a couple out here? Here's another one. I think I'm going to use this one. Again, these are ones that are Christmas ribbons from Hobby Lobby. And normally $2.99. And there's how many? 10 yards. 10 yards. That is a lot. You're not going to find that in the craft area. Um, and they're so cheap and it just cut through when I was opening it. Oh man. Oh this one's elastic. This is gold elastic. Um, I'm going to put go right over the glitter um, that's done on his waist or the bottom of his 
jacket here. This gold, which is elastic for some reason. I didn't know that, but that's okay. And there we go. Oh, the only thing I don't like about my table getting messy is I got glitter all over my table here. It's on my my pieces I'm working on. Well, I'm moving the roll over, thinking these are connected, and they're not. Okay, come on. I'm trying to think of anything that's gone on lately. It's been a busy, busy, busy summer. You've been a good one, but I do believe it's coming to an end. And our, we bought a brand new pool cover last year. <clears throat> I think it was last year. And it completely tore in pieces this summer. And, you know, it was one, one that I think they say a 10-year warranty, warranty on them. And find out how good that warranty is. My husband, thankfully, the, he called where he needed to call before they took pick the trash up because he'd thrown the whole blanket out and he needed to have a patch to send them because they were going to, they wanted proof, I guess, that it was torn up or they're going to look at it see why it ripped to pieces. We were taking it off and it was just coming off literally in pieces. I have a roller that I hook up to take the blanket off. And that snapped in the middle. So we had to take the blanket off with that in the middle of it. All of you are really interested in what I'm telling. I can tell, I can hear you guys going, wow, that was awesome. Love what you're saying. Whatever. And where is my red now? Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. These guys are done with the exception of him, and I'm going to have to get walk up and look at my walls and see what I can find because I want more on him. Oh, I forgot to do the short pieces. So, I will get uh, numerous, possibly numerous, videos uploaded today. Um, and all of them are going to be on this type of thing. No scrapbook pages, I don't believe, are currently being uploaded. I don't think I've done any in a week. But next week, next week's going to be a treat for those of you that love me or love watching me or listening to me and those that don't. Oh well. Okay. Oh, I did remember what I want to know. Where was it? This one. Let me see if this is going to work. I have some orange tape that was in there. Let me see. That was what I was trying to figure out what I was doing here. Because I'm unorganized. And I am unorganized extremely when it comes to this. Because when you do it on the fly, <clears throat> that's the way it rolls. I don't know why I say that. I think it's because my, my son, when he got his first personalized <laughs> um, plate for his car, he did um, How I Roll. My daughters were just like, oh, that is so not cool. But he still has the license plates, How I Roll. So that sticks in my mind. He was given so much grief when he did that from his sisters. And I thought it was cute. But without dating myself too much, yes, that isn't the thing right now, is how I roll. His finger is down there on his hip, and I don't want it covering up. So I get to cut the end out there and bring the rest over here. And I'll do the other side, and then I'll call that done. Um, and I'll get these uploaded. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for watching.